lifelikeunit.com coming to you live to talk about another strategy for beating imposter syndrome and that is the idea that you are in control of your mind and therefore your results so of course with imposter syndrome you feel like anybody else would be better suited to do whatever it is that we're talking about somebody else would be a better wife a better mom to your kids better at you know, your job, whatever it is that we're talking about, you compare yourself incessantly with other people and always feel like you are coming up short with imposter syndrome. So it brings up a lot of anxiety, which is really linked with my other series, uh, Coping with Anxiety Tips. So for imposter syndrome, one of the greatest takeaways that we could have, that we could talk about is the idea of you actually having control over your mind. You have control over those thoughts. You have control over whether or not you choose to compare yourself with other people. And I know that if you are actually suffering from imposter syndrome or you have that kind of negative belief system that's backing you up, telling you that you can't do it and you shouldn't do it and you're not good enough and all of that, This is very real. I don't mean to trivialize it and make it sound like, oh, all you have to do is tell yourself it's not real. It does seem like it is 100% real. But what it really is, is habit. You've gotten into a habit of talking to yourself this way. The habit of comparing yourself to other people. The habit of comparing yourself to other people and then deciding that you are falling short. The habit of comparing all of your flaws with somebody else's achievements, right? You don't compare apples to apples because there would be a chance that you might end up seeing that you have value and you have worth and you can do it and you are worthwhile. And that doesn't match the narrative that's going on in your head because there's a belief system in there that's running your show. But you know what? You created that belief system just through normal experiences in your life, you started seeing other things happening around you and you looked at that as evidence. And just as you've accumulated a whole bunch of evidence to say that you're crap and you can't do it and everybody else is better than you are, you can actually train yourself to look at it completely different, turn it on its head and collect evidence to prove to yourself that you are worthy that you can do it, and that you don't need to compare yourself to other people. And that if you do, you actually compare apples to apples. You don't compare your flaws to somebody else's successes. You compare your successes to somebody else's successes, but not as a means to put yourself down, but rather as a means to actually propel yourself forward, to give yourself a new goal, right? To give yourself inspiration, for something that you maybe didn't actually think about trying to attain before. And now you see somebody else that you really admire attaining that and you say, you know what, I can do that too. That is possible. And it starts with you actually recognizing that you are in control of all of that. You're the one that controls those thoughts in your head. You control how you choose to look at things even when somebody is speaking negatively to you or at you, right, and putting you down or anything like that, as difficult as that is to go through, you can actually learn how to choose to look at that differently. Like we talked about yesterday, if you had a chance to watch that video, if not, go on into my IGTV or in my YouTube playlist or on Facebook and check that out, where we were talking about actually flipping it on its head and realizing that people do what they do to benefit themselves, to get something positive for themselves. They often aren't taking the other person into account at all, right? But as the other person on the end of that negative 
you know, rant or whatever is happening there, obviously we tend to take that extremely personally because we feel like they've gone out of their way to actually show us that we're incompetent or that we're, you know, stupid or ugly or worthless or useless or whatever our takeaway is from that. But when you learn to actually flick that switch and actually say, I actually control how I choose to look at what's happening here in this situation. And I'm going to choose to take a step back and to look at this from a different set of eyes to say this person that's speaking to me this way and making me feel this way doesn't actually have the power to do that. They don't have the power to make you feel a certain way. You do feel that way because of how you are choosing to interpret the situation and you're choosing to interpret it in that way them telling you that you're crap because that's what you really believe about yourself it goes back to that limiting belief that's running your show that says that you can't do it but again once you bring awareness to this everything starts to change because then you start to actually open your eyes catch yourself doing it take the step back and forcefully at first make yourself look at things in a different way, make yourself take that control back and say, wait a second, if I make a different choice, then maybe my outcome will be different. And that's exactly what we're talking about is getting the results that you want by actually choosing your behavior. If you can control your mind, if you can control those thoughts that are going on in your mind and recognize that they are yours and they're you're experiencing them because of your past experience them experiences and that this is actually a choice then you suddenly become empowered to make a different choice when an opportunity presents itself again and that opportunity does not have to be something big and drastic like somebody else saying or doing something to allow you to start feeling those negative feelings again if you really suffer from imposter syndrome or these negative thoughts, then you know what I'm talking about. They're always willing to come on in for whatever, right? You could just spill a tiny bit of tea on the countertop in the morning and they are there, right? So it doesn't need to be something that's big. So your opportunity is probably going to be five minutes later for you to actually do the exact thing, same thing. Stop, regroup, realize I have control over thinking this way. I'm only thinking this way because of past experiences and beliefs that I have. And if I change that narrative and I stop speaking to myself this way and I choose a different language to talk to myself with, then I'm going to change the result. The result in this case is feeling good rather than feeling like crap. I hope that that makes sense. I see loads of you on today, which is so awesome. Um, I didn't see any comments pop up. So please, please, please go on over to my IGTV, check out the whole series, go back over to my anxiety uh, coping strategies as well. That whole series has about 30 videos in it. Same thing if you're on YouTube or you are on Facebook. I would love to hear your comments, see what's working for you, what tips and strategies that you have to offer to the audience. We would love to hear them. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.